Good. Service. Service. Now, let us go to the readings. In the Gospel, in the Gospel, Jesus tells us that the measure of greatness among His disciples, the measure of greatness is in the humility of service. Unlike in uh, the world and, and the criteria of the world, the measure of greatness is making my importance felt occupying positions of importance, reminding people of who I am, wearing phylacteries and signs of honor in order to make people tremble before me. Those are the signs of greatness in the world. But according to Jesus in the Bible, in the, in the Gospel, the measure of greatness is in the humility of service. The measure of the greatness of a deacon is in how humble he is in his service. But how do we maintain that? Jesus himself says, Do not call yourself teacher. Do not call yourself rabbi. Do not call yourself instructor. Because there is only one teacher, there is only one rabbi, and you are all students. Do not call anyone on earth your father. You are all children. After the ordination, people will call you reverend. Hmm. <laughs> you know how they call the bishop? Most reverend. Even if you look irreverent, you, know, you, you still retain the title. You know? No. Of course, you cannot keep on correcting people. Say, don't call me that. Don't call me that. But deep in your mind and heart, how will you accept such a title? Hopefully, you will develop. Hopefully, we will all develop almost like a reflex. When people call us reverend, we remind ourselves, no. There's only one holy God. And I am a simple sinner. They call me, Sir, teacher. I say, no. I am a student. I have to learn from Jesus all the time. If the culture lifts you up, then in your spirituality, be humble. That requires discipline. That requires our tendency to power and importance. Know yourself. St. Paul knew himself. He knew his past life. He knew he had nothing to be proud about. He knew that he persecuted the church. He knew that as a Pharisee, he was uh, 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 meticulous about the law to the point of being even uh, rigid and uh, lacking in compassion. He knew who he was. And so he knew there is nothing that he can claim as a badge of honor. That's why in the letter to the Galatians, he says, I was chosen. I am not a missioner because I merited it. I did not become a missioner because I had applied to be a missioner. It is through the graciousness of God, the unfathomable graciousness of God, He chose me. And that's the only source of my greatness. Not any achievement on my part, but the calling of God. This mysterious calling of God. Every time I, 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 I preside at ordination, I, I really grapple with that. Especially now that I continue teaching and uh, most of the ordinance has been my students. No? So I look at them and I say, my God, why did you choose this man? <laughs> Therefore I ask you, in the presence of God and the church, are you resolved as a sign of your interior dedication to Christ 
to remain celibate for the sake of the kingdom and in lifelong service to God and humankind? I am. May the Lord help you to persevere in this commitment. Amen. My son, before you are ordained deacon, you must declare before the people your intention to undertake this office. Are you willing to be ordained for the church's ministry by the laying on of hands and the gift of the Holy Spirit? I am. Are you resolved to discharge the office of deacon with humility and love in order to assist the bishop and priests and to serve the people of Christ? I am. Are you resolved to hold the mystery of the faith with a clear conscience as the Apostle urges? and to proclaim this faith in word and action as it is taught by the gospel and the church's tradition? I am. Are you resolved to maintain and deepen a spirit of prayer appropriate to your way of life and in keeping with what is required of you to celebrate faithfully the liturgy of the hours for the church and for the whole world? I am. Are you resolved to shape your way of life always according to the example of Christ, whose body and blood you will give to the people? I am with the help of God. The candidate will promise obedience to his legitimate ordinary through the hands of our ordaining bishop, as obedience marks the authentic disciple and its guarantee of unity in the church. Do you promise respect and obedience to the diocesan bishop and your legitimate superior? I do. May God who has begun the good work in you bring it to fulfillment. Oh, girl. 